What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now we are in a different part of my little office bedroom here because I'm actually going to be filming a TikTok ad live. Now it's not gonna be for a product that I'm gonna run or that I suggest that you run, but just to give you an idea of how you can be creative and resourceful with things that you might have at home to be able to film your very own native TikTok ad for pretty much any product that you wanna run. Now there's two styles of ads that you can run. One of them is just sending the product to an influencer or filming it yourself where you are giving your opinion on the product and you know, you're pretty much just making a natural TikTok video with it as you would normally without promoting a product at all so that it doesn't seem that salesy. Those are the types of ads and pieces of content that resonate well with TikTok. And then the second type of ad is having a piece of existing content or your own custom content where you can pretty much just throw a song behind it and some pieces of text that are convincing in the Siri voice if you don't wanna show your face or you don't wanna have any type of voiceover. Now, truthfully, I don't know how this video is gonna come out because I'm not an expert at making creatives, but I'm gonna to try to make something very, very simple and show you guys how I would edit the different clips and piece them together to make a good TikTok ad through the actual TikTok app on my phone and only with this tripod right next to me and my iPhone. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the product that I'm gonna use for reference are these boxing gloves. Uh, obviously not gonna sell them, but I'm just gonna show you kind of some B-roll shots that I would naturally take that can be really effective and useful for a creative. Now this is kind of the background that we're gonna be getting with the little GW bridge in the background. You know, we might take some shots on that ledge over there, but I'm gonna go ahead and take these shots and see how they come out. Now sometimes it might take a few tries, so don't be afraid to take your time on these. I'm just rushing it so we can fit this video within maybe 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so I think that'll be clip number one. Maybe we'll get another clip here by the window. Again, not a professional videographer, but usually your iPhone shots like this will do just fine for an ad. All right, now this is gonna look really weird because of the different framing, but I have my phone on this makeshift tripod stand, and I'm gonna be filming myself punching without the boxing gloves, pretending to hurt my hands, and then pretending like the boxing gloves came falling from the sky, using them, and then maybe giving a little flex, and then putting the actual brand logo up to the camera. Might sound a little bit weird, but I'm gonna try it right now. I have the vision in my head, and I think it'll take like 30 seconds. This probably looks so corny. All right, I think you guys get the point. I am not a professional boxer or videographer, but we're gonna see what we can do with the clips that we just had. And even if it comes out remotely halfway decent, I'm gonna be happy. All right, now we're actually going to go ahead and edit the clips that we just took in the TikTok app. So bear with me, there's gonna be a couple of periods where I fast forward just to make sure that this video doesn't end up being too long. But anything that's important, I will make sure that it's slowed down so that I can tell you exactly what it is that I'll be doing. All right, so right now I'm just editing that initial clip that we took and I'm breaking it up into like three to four parts. So that it's gonna be easier for us to go ahead and edit on TikTok. All right, so the first clip is me punching and hurting my hands. The second clip is going to be me uh, looking like hurting my hands and then looking up at the sky, pretending that a pair of boxing gloves are falling from it. The third clip is gonna be falling and catching. The fourth clip is going to be the transition of them actually being on my hands. And then the final one is gonna be punching, flexing, coming up to the camera.
Now again, I didn't quite get the footage that I wanted to in frame, but I'm doing this all in a matter of like 20 minutes, so bear with me. All right, so we have all our clips prepared, so now we're gonna plug it into the TikTok app and see what we can come up with in less than five or 10 minutes. This is gonna be interesting. All right, so usually we'll put maybe a clip like this one in either like the first or second frame so that you can have a shot of the product in the beginning and at the very end but I don't really know where we're going with this. We'll see how it comes out in the end. So once we have all our clips prepared, now it's time to add the music and maybe a Siri voice, or we can do a voiceover, which I've personally never done, but might as well give it a try now. Now that we have all the clips together, as I was saying, we're gonna have the, uh, we'll probably add a voiceover, I'm thinking, maybe a little bit of music, and we're just gonna make sure that, you know, we have some of our transitions on point and see kind of what it looks like. Now with a voiceover, I'm thinking we would have to really understand how to time everything. I'm just gonna totally half-ass this. So, you know, don't use this too strictly as a reference, but just know that there are a lot of creative ways to go about filming your own TikToks. Honestly, one of my favorite ways, let's say we're selling this blue light blocking lens. This might save you some time because you might not be doing all this custom stuff. I could set it up right here if I wanted to, just take some, shots like this, right? Come behind it, maybe take a video of me wearing it or a clip of other people wearing them and literally just put the Siri voice over it. And you can say, hey, I just got these awesome blue light blockers from, you know, bluelightblockers.com. And it's like the coolest product ever. They're currently running a sale. Check them out, you know, check out the link below uh, before stock runs out or whatever you wanna do. Some type of call to action. Uh, there's really not much to making them as long as you have the product in hand. If you don't have the product in hand, then it's a little bit more difficult to find the right clips that are going to appear native on the TikTok platform because you won't have control over, you know, making sure that all of the transitions are in alignment with the song or that you're able to have the proper voiceover or add a, you know, a Siri voice to it in the way that you want to where, you know, it looks like it's in one environment and one person's using or demonstrating the product. That's usually when the TikTok ad converts the best when it looks native, right? And you don't see a lot of TikTok videos where people are in a bunch of different environments and it's a bunch of people showing off different things. Usually it's one person in one environment continuously showing one specific thing uh, and having one focal point. Now, for some reason, this is taking forever to process, so I am going to try it again. Now, this is with no lighting. This is with very little time, very little effort, and I still think it's a pretty cool idea, but if I had a camera, if I had someone helping me, it would probably be a hell of a lot easier and come out a lot better. All right, so now that the video is processed, I'm probably gonna remove all sound, and I'm gonna come to volume turn down the original sound, and then I'm gonna add uh, some sound that is popular on TikTok right now. Be very careful with music copyright infringement because although you can use some songs for TikTok videos, apparently you're not supposed to use them for ads. Uh, so just be very careful when it comes to audio selection. You know, always be safe by using some type of copyright free music. For demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna use uh, any trending popular song that's likely going to resonate well with the audience. All right, I'm gonna turn the volume down because when editing TikToks, there's a lot of different edits and placements that we have to do voiceovers and things like that. Uh, and so we don't wanna hear that same song over and over and over again, like 10, 15 times. Are you a boxer like me that hates hurting your hands? If so, then you have to try these comfortable Everlast boxing gloves. Now, as you can see, my pair fell from the sky, but the second I put them on, I became a totally different beast. Not only are they sweat resistant and super comfortable, but they also look great. Check out the link below to get yours. All right, we're gonna play it one time through, see how it came out. 
Are you a boxer like me that hates hurting your hands? If so, then you have to try these comfortable Everlast boxing gloves. Now, as you can see, my pair fell from the sky, but the second I put them on, I became a totally different beast. Not only are they sweat resistant and super comfortable, but they also look great. Check out the link below to get yours. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's a pretty good product ad. I think Everlast honestly should sponsor this video, but since I don't have any sponsors, I guess that'll never happen. But in all seriousness, that was pretty quick, wasn't too painful. So all you'd have to do is basically upload that TikTok to your TikTok account temporarily. Go ahead and retrieve that link and download it uh, from any TikTok downloader app and software that you can find online. Make sure that it does not have the TikTok watermark because if it does, it will not get approved by TikTok because it is against their policies to do that. And then you are all set. Now, normally if I had more time, I would maybe throw in a little bit of text somewhere on there or maybe some more B-roll or have a much, much better quality shot for a majority of those shots. Make sure that I'm in frame, of course, but I would say for just 10, 20 minutes worth of work, that isn't too bad. And it's something that you can take as kind of a reference uh, or as a framework for your next custom TikTok create. I hope this video helped and I hope it might've been even the slightest bit entertaining and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.